Hi guys, it's me, Andrea. Um, today I felt like using my brushes again, and I what I really like is making a background with it. So here I use different blues and greens and put them in lines here. And um, first the greens and then the blues, and that's turquoise. And I try to get a nice, or not too much, but a nice amount on it. And then I spray water. Wasn't enough for my taste, so that means a bit more here and there and a bit more water. And um, I'm ending up with some puddles. As you can see, I'm making puddles now. And I really like to push that around here with my um, heat gun and have this um, puddles, you know, that creates out of this more concentrated areas and, and less really like that. I like to have this type of background. So now what I wanted actually is um, using bleach, the bleach, bleach technic, technique, loop. Sorry, <laughs> and I'm using this self adhesive stencil and go in with a brush to take off paint with the bleach. The problem you can see that here um, the green is very easy to remove and the blue resists a bit. That's always a problem. It's more difficult to get rid of the blue because blue is so much more pigmented than all the other colors. It's always the same when I do the bleach technique, it's diff more difficult with blue. But in this, you get definitely more bleaching even with the blue ones. But in this case, the bleach I used here was the last bit out of the bottle. I always take fresh from the bottle uh, in this little pot here that works best but that was the last bit and I only get this really huge one liter bottles and when you're coming to an end the yeah the power or the bleachiness it's getting lost you know and I could have gone down to the cellar I have more there but I was a bit yeah <laughs> lazy I don't know so I go in here on on more areas what my intention was I wanted to make flowers, abstract flowers here with this shape. And um, you know when you're going over here, you can see that over the still wet from bleach area with a heat gun, you intense the bleaching. So it was seen a bit, but still it was a lot, a lot of uh, blue was still there. It didn't do actually what I wanted it to do. but. That's how it works. Too lazy going into the cellar and getting the new bottle. New bottle, but <laughs> it's okay. So, but then, not here, later now. Um, while I go around these little shapes with my pit pen, I thought, hmm, yeah, I really didn't want to use it at fl as flowers any longer and I thought well that looks like a yeah a funny fantasy little village with this capsula flats apartments whatever so and then I went with that what I do here is my use my water tank brush and pure water nothing else and activate or try to activate the brush hole again between these little capsules to get a more uh, even and even background behind this ones to concentrate the brush over there and go in with my bleach here without the stencil again to get it a bit more bleachy and uh, yeah, I could get it it's a tiny bit lighter here so and I wanted to the background now of course it's pretty busy and I try to calm it down a bit here with the brush and mixed with water and go inside. You can see that here. So it makes it, gets, it definitely gets more depth and it makes it in general much, much calmer. So, okay, now thinking about my little fantasy village, I'm working on that one. 
no flowers, no. And that's so typical, you know, that I'm starting with an idea and then halfway through, change my plan. Yeah, when plan A doesn't work, there's a lot of other letters in the alphabet, isn't it? So, and what I put into or onto my little village things is um, there. I put them on on... Yeah, on pile, not on piles, on um, poles. Yeah, poles is the right word. And I can think of uh, little little villages um, in um, in a jungle or so. Yeah, some fantasy thing. It's it, of course not real. So I give them little windows uh, with my pit pen again working here little circles. It's not very well seen here on uh, camera. You will see it in the close-up much better. And I use my charcoal pencil here to give um, the capsules even more, a bit more depth going around for shading. And as you can see, I use my blending stump here to blend it out a bit. Okay, in the windows I get in white dots here with my Posca. So, um, yeah, it's windows, they have to be lighter. Go in all these little circles. Okay, and then I thought mm, it wasn't enough. Um, I wanted to have a bit more going on. And that's why I put this lettuce. What do you call them? Oh, God, I forgot to... To look up for this one, this this lettuce made from ropes and and wooden things. What do you call them? We call them Strickleiter, but um, I can't think of what you call them in English. I think I've never used this word. Okay, you, but I'm sure you know. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. And I let them dangling down there. And I go around um, the capsules in these little houses here with a bit of, uh, I use glazing medium to activate the brush oil again. And of course with the glazing medium on top it will make it um, permanently um, water resistant. So the capsules I get them here with my Spectrum Noir sparkly pen, a bit of sparkle. Because I wanted to make them look more made like made from glass, for example. And you will see that in the close-up much, much better with sparkle and in the photos. So I ground them here, use my um, charcoal pen for that again, and I go over the little uh, other poles here and the little letters as well. Um, yeah, and then yeah, go over the letters. Yeah, I didn't show that. Oh, um, I wanted to make these poles a bit more or define them a bit better, so that's why I use here my graphics from Durvant. It's an ink pen that's an olive green, and I go into this uh, poles. I scribbled some lines in, so I don't um, put the green into the whole pole, only partially. I wanted to have it look a bit more, not transparent, but not that solid, only partially solid. It should um, keep, oh, it should still look very light and airy. So, But of course, me and contrast, I really was missing contrast here and so that's why I use here my um, handmade stencil with um, simple acrylic paint and a cosmetic sponge and put my words in and go in again with my charcoal put a bit of uh, shading here and there but I was still something missing um, and then you can see I use my um, die cuts here again. That's always the yeah the leftovers. These little dots you get 
And I really like to use them a lot. And I um, have this black, I use black cardstock, so it has really a nice contrast. And what I do is, I glue them down that they are looking like little people. Okay, very abstract little people, but um, you will see that they are looking like them. Or oh, I will put more features in. Now I glue the dots down, and what I do after that, I give them some arms and legs with my ink pen here, with a pit pen. And that makes them look a bit more like people, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, quite, I think that's the little um, thing, what it needed to make it perfect. Of course, a bit more shading. But that's actually it. And I was quite happy with the page then. So you will see the close-up coming now. And then you can see everything so much better. You know, these little letters and the sparkle on the capsules. Yeah, you can see the sparkle. Isn't that great? Oh, I love that pen so much. So that's it. Guys, I thank you a lot for watching. And I hope you had fun. And um, I hope I will see you soon with my next page. So thanks a lot again. And I wish you a fantastic time. I see you soon. Bye-bye.